Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. You may have watched a video that I just recently uploaded about the Pro One and best practices when it comes to refilling those PGI 29 cartridges. They do require a little bit of work. And I know, I know that everybody, including myself, tends to preach and then they don't follow their preaching. And I'm guilty of that. I have been working on all of the other printers and I've been neglecting my Pro One for a good number of weeks. And guess what? Today I decided, you know what? I better get off my hiney and print an also check. Well, guess what I was presented with on my computer window? B200 error. Well, you know, I have an extra printhead. This is actually the second printhead that I have installed on this printer. I think I mentioned that this was not Canon's highest achievements as far as printers go. They do have some problems. No one has said anything or they haven't, you know, admitted to anything of the sort. But they tend to do. I could leave this thing, which I will not, but I could leave this thing off, say, for two months. Start it up. It'll run a cleaning cycle to pay me back for my neglect but it will recognize the printhead no problem whatsoever okay it will not give me a b200 error like this one just did 10 minutes ago okay no need to panic assuming that your printhead is still in good condition and it's not electronically damaged barring that of course all you can do power it off pull the plug out of the back let it sit for a couple of minutes, plug it back in, power it back on, and that should solve the problem. And indeed it did. It ran a cleaning cycle, of course, because I turned it off from the wall socket, basically, by pulling the plug out. And then I proceeded to print my nozzle check. So now, yeah, like I always say, make sure you use these printers often. Well, since I am not printing actual photographs on that printer, it's really just a, a testing machine right now. I went ahead and set up QImage to do that job for me. So basically, I just picked the correct colors to match my ink palette. Remember, QImage allows you to print a purge sheet at whatever schedule you wish to do it in. So I picked just two days, 10 o'clock at night, and it will print every color in that ink palette. So make sure that when you set up QImage, whether you have a Mac or Windows, you're using QImage 1, either QImage 1 for Mac and for Windows because it comes on those two flavors. QImage Ultimate is what I own. So I set it up with the correct color so that I'm not really trying to composite orange when there is no orange, say on the P800. You see what I'm saying? So you pick the colors that you need to exercise and make sure that you set your driver like you were printing with a profile. You're going to pick the highest quality. You're going to pick a good glossy paper. Again, highest resolution, meaning quality setting. And tell it to not control color. No color matching and no color management on the Epson printers. That will actually cause the printer itself to print say magenta with like 90 percent of magenta ink which normally it will not do when you are printing with a say an icc profile so you're not going to use an icc profile you're basically not going to print with any any color management whatsoever and that will force the printer driver to exercise if it's magenta what you're trying to print it'll use mostly magenta the magenta will be wrong the color will be wrong but it will use actual magenta. The reason I say it's wrong is because magenta ink does not match optical magenta. Everything is part of a compositing scheme when it comes to printing. Don't let that scare you. Don't let that confuse you. Don't worry about that. That's the way things work on printers. The print engine, the ICC profile working hand in hand with the print engine is what tells it how to mix colors correctly. Don't worry about that. 
to render them as accurately as what you see on the screen, assuming your screen is calibrated to the output of your printer printing a standard image. That's a lot of information already, right? So we'll leave it at that. Make sure you exercise that Pro 1. If you have a Pro 1, please don't let it sit for a month. You will get a B200 error, which is easily fixed by unplugging the printer and then replugging it a few minutes later and restarting it. You will waste ink in a cleaning cycle, of course, hopefully, assuming there's actually no damage within the printhead electronics and the communication pathway between the printhead and the printer, you'll be fine. It's an error in the printer itself. It is a glitch that is there. And again, I can guarantee you, if I leave my printer sit for a month and a half, it will greet me happily, merrily, with a B200 error when I begin to print again. I will leave you with that, okay? Take that to the bank. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this sort of video, and you enjoy what I've been putting out, please subscribe. And when you do so, click on that bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload something. I try to upload interesting content for you guys to digest. So. Thank you so much. Keep watching. Happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care of that Pro 1.